Welcome back to another video and today to take a look at a solution that will allow us to transmit a HDMI signal from our laptop, our mobile phone or any other device over the air via Wi-Fi to any TV or any projector just using a plug and play device. Simple as this. We are going to check out the new Minix C1 and Minix H1 which will work on any operating system. I did test out on Android, on Android TV, on Mac OS and Windows. And by the way, if you still haven't activated your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the component code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description, it will get a bit cheaper so that you can take advantage of all Windows features. Now, that being said, basically what we can do is transmit, as I said, HDMI, via wireless to a TV or a projector, which might be very useful if you are in a classroom, for example, and you want to transmit via your mobile phone and you don't want to be tied to the teacher's desk where you have the cable that goes to the projector. You can just grab your phone and connect this and then you can walk over the classroom and you can do your presentation. You can actually change to a video or anything on the fly without having to stand right over there. This is one of the biggest advantages that I do see. We have seen in the past some solutions that will allow us to transmit HDMI via Wi-Fi, but this one right over here has one advantage, which is the simplicity. That's in my opinion, one of the biggest advantages. Now it is really easy to set up, but I'm going to share you some of the testings that I did. Now, starting with the Minix C1, inside the package, we will have the USB Type-C transmitter right over here, which is awesome. It will also have the HDMI and USB-A so that we can connect to the TV or to the projector. And basically that is it. You just need to connect one to your computer or mobile phone, the other one to the TV, and that is it. It's simple as this. Besides these two cables, it also comes with this really nice pouch, a user guide that, as you will see, you will not need, and a pin so that we can reset these devices if we need to reset them. The H1 has one major difference, which is it doesn't bring the USB Type-C like the C1. It brings two HDMIs, hence the name H1 and the other one C1. So as you can see, it has one HDMI for your computer and one HDMI for your TV or projector, and then one USB to power and one USB to power right over here. Besides the two cables, it also comes with a manual and a pouch that can be useful to travel with the cables just put inside our laptop case and there we go we are ready to in terms of connection starting with the minix c1 it's as easy as i've said two or three times i just need to connect to my laptop and i did test it out with my macbook pro the experience was awesome i also connected the cable that comes the hdmi with usb type a on the back of my tv and that was the only thing that we required to do. They will connect each other and we will see the image. Using a laptop, we will have two options. Either we will have a duplicated screen, so we will see exactly the same thing that I'm seeing on my laptop, I'll see on the projector or on the TV, or we may use it as an extended display. So we will have two displays, one on a computer and the other one on the projector or TV. Now we can use Mac OS. I also used a Windows computer, the same great experience, no issues whatsoever. And with the Minix C1, we also have the option to use it with mobile phones. So I did use it with my Samsung S20 Fan Edition. And there are two ways that we can use on this particular Samsung and other Samsung models. One of which is the Samsung DeX desktop experience. So we can take our phone and use it like desktop. We have seen this on previous videos here on the channel and of course if I want to use it like a normal phone on the vertical or horizontal I can also do so watch videos or anything that I want like a PowerPoint presentation we no longer need big laptops we just need a mobile phone for this kind of work now these are the advantages of the C1 my MacBook Pro actually has USB Type-C but it also has HDMI so if I wanted to use the h1 i could also use the h1 here on this laptop so in this particular case we have the choice to use the c1 or to use the h1 but you will have to see on your particular case if your device has a hdmi output or a usb type c output and that will detect the choice 
either between the C1 or the H1. Now, to simulate an older device, I did use the NVIDIA Shield TV, which is a device that I use on a regular basis. And of course, it doesn't have a USB Type-C, nor it should have any USB Type-C. It has, yes, an HDMI connection. And this HDMI connection, I did connect the source right over here. And I did connect the USB Type-A to one of the ports. And that was it. Now, I did connect the HDMI cable, the other cable, to the back of the TV with the USB Type-A. And bam, transmitting signal from one end to the other without any issues whatsoever. One thing to have in mind is that the performance is great. I did all sorts of tests in terms of audio synchronization, which is something that these devices might have any issue. And we have seen in the past that some solutions were not solutions, were problems. In this particular case, everything is just fine. My video and audio were totally in sync. So no issues at all in terms of audio. Video resolution 1080 maximum. And I do believe that this is a limitation because we are using wireless. So I wouldn't see 4K yet for the tech that we have. But 1080, real fluid without any issues. Of course, the further away that we get from the two units, we will might lose signal. I'm not really sure of the limitation, but links down below with all the boring specifications that you can read, including the limitations of distance that you can use from one to the other. And basically, that is it. Now, if you ask yourselves, we have seen some solutions in the past to transmit HDMI from one source to a TV or a projector. Yes, but I do believe that the C1 and the H1 has one advantage, which is a major advantage, and that is the simplicity. I just need to connect this to my laptop right over here. I just need to connect this to the TV or to the projector right over there. And this is something that I can say to anyone even someone that has never used any kind of technology, I just need to tell, hey, connect this to your laptop, connect this to the projector, and that is it. Take it. And this anyone can do. In the past, we have seen solutions like using the Chromecast Miracast built in on Android TV boxes, where we connect this to the projector or to the TV, and then I can Miracast or Screencast or AirPlay to the box, and the box will share the image on the TV. This is a scenario that it's easy for me, it's easy for you, but it's not easy for anyone. And right over here, it's just easy for everyone. That being said, hope that the video was helpful. Hope that you enjoyed to know a little bit better about the C1 and H1, the differences between one and another. If the video was helpful in some way, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.